Welcome to the first in a series of videos demonstrating the functionality of Nintex Forms. Hi, I'm Dean Virag, and in this video, I'm going to go over the basic terms and concepts of forms in order to provide a foundation for the rest of the videos in this series. This video is targeted towards users with little to no experience working with forms. If you understand the basic building blocks of forms and how they work, please feel free to move on to the next videos in this series. Let's begin. SharePoint stores content in repositories called lists and libraries. Lists store columns and rows of data, very similar to a spreadsheet, while libraries store files and information about those files called metadata. Forms are the interface in which users add new content to lists and libraries and also edit existing content. Native SharePoint forms are automatically created when a list or library is created. Nintex forms are created using a web-based tool called Nintex Forms Designer. Nintex forms offer enhanced functionality to their SharePoint counterparts. Users are able to replace native SharePoint forms with the Nintex forms that they create using Forms Designer application. Now, let's take a look at the building blocks of a Nintex form. The background of the form is called the canvas. It's the working area where all of the form controls are placed. A single Nintex form can have multiple canvas layouts that support a variety of different devices, such as a computer desktop, multiple types of tablets, and multiple types of smartphones. A form control is a mini application that enables a user to interact with a specific column in a SharePoint list or library or take an action on the form. There are many different types of form controls that can be added to a form, and each one performs a specific function and is configured differently. Examples include a text field, which is used to enter a single line of text, a label, which is used to identify a control, a date picker, which is used to select a specific date from a calendar, and lots, lots more. There's too many to cover in this video. It's important to understand that just because a control is on the form canvas does not mean that it's in communication with the Lister library. Users can add disconnected controls to the form canvas and manually connect them to a column, or they can choose from a selection of controls that are pre-connected to the columns in the active list or library. A control must be connected to a column in a list or library in order for data to be passed back and forth. The final topic that I want to cover in this video is the button control. The button control performs some action when it's clicked. The two most common actions are the submit and cancel buttons. Submit writes the values entered in the form to the list or library. Cancel closes out the form without making any changes. Well, that's it for the quick foundation lesson on forms. The rest of the videos in this series will expand upon the concepts covered in this video. In the next video, I will demonstrate how to create a new form and discuss the ribbon controls in the designer interface. Thanks for watching.